Hey guys, we're going to show you how to create a user in Arch Linux. So in this terminal, I'm logged into a VM running Arch Linux. Uh, and let's see here. So we're, we're, I'm going to show you how to create a user. Um, and this example is going to be the users. I'm going to call him Steve. So I'm logged in as user one. So we're going to use the sudo command, um, which we showed you how to set that up in the previous video. Um, so take a look at that if, if you want to know how to set that up. But um, we're going to run sudo. You could either run this as root or just use sudo. We're going to use sudo in this case just because it's more, more common and more people prefer doing it this way. So um, sudo, you run sudo user add dash m steve. Now hit enter and we have now added a user called Steve. Now you, we, we are going to set the password for Steve. So we're going to say sudo P A S S W D Steve. Now I'm going to enter in a new password. And there we go. Password updated successfully. All right. So that's kind of nice. Um, we're going to clear that. Now we can see that all right, tail dash n. All right, there we go. We we can see uh, we we can see the the new user Steve has been added to our Etsy password file, and um, let, let's become Steve. So I'm I'm gonna run su su dash Steve, and I'm gonna enter in Steve's password that I just created. And there we go. I'm now Steve. Note my directory is now Steve's home directory. So that command that we used, the, the user add command, created a home directory for him. And it created a few files for him, like a bash logout, bash profile, and a bash rc. Vi. Let's see what's in his bash rc file by default. All right, so it has a few basic things, nothing too special in there. All right, let's jump out of here and all right, so another command you could use if you uh, if you want to specify the hash and you know the hash, you you, you can actually um, you do this all in one command. You could say um, sudo user add, and, and you might say dash m, and let let let's say um, we want to create a user called um, Steve three, right? And um, we, we might specify a dash p and put a pat. We, we might put a hash here. So uh, I'm gonna, I'm going to paste something in here that's not valid and that doesn't map out to any actual password. Well, you you could type this now. If this is the actual hash that you would get in your Etsy shadow file, you, you can create an, a user with this hash. And if you happen to know what password maps out to that hash, you can initialize the user with that password. So you could do that. Um, just just to, you know something to be aware of. And let's see, if you want to set up a custom directory, right? So let's create, um, let's create a Steve four. So we have user add dash M. Now we're, we're, we're going to throw a dash D in there for directory and say, um, not Steve four. Right, so dash d not Steve four dash m Steve four, and we we don't need to specify this. We're we're gonna leave that out in this command. So here we're just uh we're adding a user with a custom home directory called not Steve four, just to show how you could do that. All right, so it it does not like our directory. And that's because I need to specify the full path, not because it doesn't like those characters. And there we go. <clears throat> so let's take a look. In home, we have uh, we have a few users here. We have um, not Steve four right here. Notice I have a few others I've created, um, like Greg, Greg two, and stuff like that. All right. Anyways, um, let's clear this, and let's become. Uh, Let's become Steve three. Well, or let's set set the password first. 
or D4. Okay. Make sure we remember sudo. And there we go. Login is Steve4. Use the password we just created. And let's check our directory. So we're in our home directory now. And our home directory is home Steve4. And it's set up the way we expect it to be. Um, with all the right permissions and everything. All right, and our, our bash profile, all that good stuff. All right, so there we go. We've we've uh, created a user with a custom home directory. Now we could also create custom groups. So for example, you could say sudo user add dash g. Um, you might say like group one uh, dash d. You know what we're not going to spell. You could. We've, we've already shown you how to specify a custom home directory, right? Let's just say dash m steve5, right? Create another steve, right? Um, so you could create another steve. Now, I, I don't think this group exists, but let's see here. Okay, I'm, I shouldn't do this as steve4, okay. So, and we're gonna need a real group to actually see this command in action. So let, let's find some actual groups. So say if we want to add add him to, uh, just for lack of a better, you know what, let's try the part Im image group. So there we go, we've created Steve5 with a custom group. So let's see here. Let's set his password. Oops. All right, there we go. Oops. And there we go. So we see Steve five. It still created Steve five with his own group, but it also placed Steve five in the part image group also. So there you go, that's how that behaves, right? So if, if you say sudo user add dash g part image steve5, so you can add, create a new user and specify that they additionally are placed in this additional group. All right, so one more thing to show you, if you want to create a user that's a, like a system user, you might, um, I actually already created this, but I wasn't recording while I did it, but, um, you, you can use the following command. You can say sudo user add dash r dash s and, and use user bin no login and the username. So I already created this one off camera for while I wasn't recording, but um, let's create a new user called Steve7. Now we're, we're using the, we're specifying this as the login shell. So instead of using like bin bash or whatever else you would use as your login shell, um, we're, we're using no login, which is an invalid shell, obviously, so you would not be able to actually log in. This won't let you log in as the user. So let's set the password and try logging in just to show you how that would work. But this is basically an ideal way to set up a, a system account for like a service or something. So so let's set the password for Steve7. And there we go. Now let's uh, let's try to become Steve Seven. And there we go. 
It says cannot change to directory Steve7, no such file or directory. This account is currently not available. So there we go. That's how you might set up a system account. Now you could also, um, also worth being aware of is that, yeah, the, the other thing, I, I guess the other thing I should mention is sudo, which is a pretty common thing to want. So if you want to know how to set up sudo, just check the other video. It should have been published um, either right before this video or right after it, pr pretty close to the same time. I'm probably going to be pushing out about, you know, 10 or 20 videos at once. But if, you, if you're watching this video, it means that video has also been published. So t take a look at our, our list of videos. We have a vi video showing you how to set up sudo on Arch Linux as well. Um, I actually recorded that just before recording this video. So you might want to take a look at that. So hopefully you found this useful or at least interesting, if nothing else, you might want to give me a thumbs up. Um, you might want to hit that subscribe button also and uh, hit the little bell icon up. Otherwise, uh, YouTube's probably not going to let you know when we come out with a new video. Um, we do have a lot of great stuff coming up on, and we've actually, if you want to check our list of videos, we've already put out a lot of uh, pretty interesting things, some more interesting than others. Um, we cover a lot of great stuff, um, coding, servers, hardware, software, 3D printing, electronics, uh, single board computers, robots, networking, all sorts of great tech related stuff that you're not going to want to miss. So if you, if you want your YouTube feed to uh, you know be that much more interesting, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button. But more important than any of that stuff, you're going to want to leave a comment down below, especially if you know something that I don't know. Um, definitely let me know, not just for me, but for the next person who comes along and watches this video and reads the comments. Um, leave a comment that for them also. Any, any comments, questions, criticisms, whatever you want to say, I probably want to hear it. So do leave a comment down below. And uh, that's pretty much it for today. So as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.